There is little known about the elusive black cod, a large but shy fish found in the temperate waters off the New South Wales coast. The adult black cod lives in caves and under ledges of rocky reefs off mainland New South Wales. The babies prefer smaller coastal rock pools. The black cod has an unusual ability to change colour. Within seconds, they can change from a solid black to a grey with black band, or even just a grey colour. These changes occur due to a change in mood or a change in surroundings. Combined with their shy behaviour and tendency to hide in caves and under ledges, their ability to change colour makes it difficult for us to properly identify the black cod. Historical photos depict burly spear fishermen hunting and catching adult cod measuring up to two metres in length and 80 kilograms in weight. Unfortunately, this sport was so popular, it is now very rare to find a slow-growing adult black cod that is more than one metre long. It is also believed that black cod change sex from female to male at around one metre, making it even more important to ensure there is enough big fish around so breeding continues, as this may help to boost the population. Marine biologists agree there is a chance the black cod could disappear in the future, even though it has been protected in New South Wales since 1983. The New South Wales Government released a recovery plan for black cod in 2011, and its listing as a threatened species has also made it illegal to catch and keep and buy or sell black cod in New South Wales. The Hunter Central Rivers Catchment Management Authority is continuing to help researchers from the Port Stephens Great Lakes Marine Park to find out just where and how many black cod live in this area and work out just how bad the situation is. David Harasti, marine biologist who works for the Port Stephens Great Lakes Marine Park, has been studying the decline of the black cod for five years. David and his research team have developed an innovative way to find juvenile black cod in rock pools using small and compact GoPro cameras with pilchards used as a bait to attract the fish. These cameras have captured footage of quite a few juvenile black cod in local rock pools. So what we found is that these rock platforms are very important for juvenile black cod. They actually like rock platforms and rocks, uh, rock pools that have lots of boulder habitat. So they live in the rock pools that have got dark crevices where they can hide in and blend in so they're protected and not under threat. So we've got some of our black cod living in the same rock pool now for over one year. So they're really, really territorial and they, once they find a you know, happy little cave that they can live in, they thrive there and they're protected so that's where they stay. Now we know that juvenile black cod prefer the safety of coastal rock pools we can all make an effort to protect these babies. We can help to keep these areas as pristine as possible by making sure we collect any rubbish we find in rock pools. When visiting these areas, we need to remember that collecting bait or disturbing the sea life may harm our future generation of black cod. It is also important to learn how to identify black cod and other protected species so we avoid harming while fishing. If you're in doubt about what kind of fish it is, don't spear it. And if caught online, put it back carefully. Taking a photo of the fish might help you to correctly identify the species next time. But we hope this video has helped.